In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Ogre running in Eclipse IDE in Ubuntu 18.04. To start out, let's go ahead and open up the terminal by pressing Ctrl-Alt-T. I'm going to increase the font size. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you have Eclipse installed by typing Eclipse. As you can see, I don't have it. So before I follow the install instructions, I'm going to install the Java runtime environment by typing sudo apt install default jre. And I'm going to enter my password. And when it asks me to continue, and type yes. Once that's finished, go ahead and run the command sudo snap install eclipse with classic. Now that Eclipse is installed, let's go ahead and run it by typing Eclipse. And then you can see we installed Eclipse IDE 2019.03 version 4.11. And it's going to bring you up, select a directory as workspace, just click launch. Okay, and then it'll start out with a welcome screen. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And let's make sure that we get the C and C++ IDE installed. So go to the Eclipse Marketplace under the Help tab. And let's search for CDT. And then you're going to want to install the complete Eclipse C and C++ IDE 9.7. This is going to give you a bunch of checkboxes. Just make sure they're all selected and click Confirm. And it's going to say the following solutions are not available. Uh, just go ahead and proceed with the installation anyways. And accept the terms of license agreements. And click Finish. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the progress of the installation. And then it's going to say, would you like to restart Eclipse? And click yes. You could go ahead and close out of the welcome menu again. Now let's go ahead and create a project. Not a Java project, just a project. And then you're going to want to click on the C and C++ drop down. And click on C++ project, click next. Then make sure you click on empty project as a project type. And then your tool chains will be Linux GCC. The name of this will be Ogre Basic Tutorial. Then click Next. Make sure your debug and release are selected. Then click Finish. Then it's going to ask you about opening the associated perspective. And click Yes, Open Perspective. Now you can see your project is in the left-hand Project Explorer. If you click on the drop-down, then you should see Includes available. Next, we're going to want to go ahead and add the project folders. I've already downloaded them, and they should be in the description down below. You'll see a INC for Include and SRC for Source. Just go ahead and select both of those and drag it into your project. You'll notice when you drag it into this white area that nothing happens. You actually have to drop it into the Project Explorer root folder up here. And then it's going to say Copy Files and Folders. Just click OK. And now you'll see our header files and our C++ files. Next, let's adjust the project settings so we can compile this properly. To do that, right click on the root folder of your project and then go down to Properties. Under Properties, you want to look for the C and C++ build folder and drop it down and then click on Settings. Under Settings, you're going to want to look under the GCC C++ Compiler Includes. At this point, make sure that you set your configuration to All Configurations. And then we're going to go ahead and include some paths. And to do that, you just push this green button and Add. And let's go ahead and add the current workspace Include folder. Click OK. Click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and add the Ogre folder. And to get to that, you're going to go to the file system, click on other locations, computer, user. 
local include ogre click OK click OK add another one and this is going to be the overlay click OK click OK and finally we're going to go ahead and include the OIS which can be found under computer user include and look for the lowercase OIS and click OK click OK next go down to the GCC C++ linker libraries we're going to go ahead and add ogre main I'm going to add ogre overlay we're going to add OIS which is all caps then we're going to add boost system, which is B O O S T underscore system, all lowercase. And then we have to add the library search pass. So let's click on the plus sign and look into the file system. We click on other locations, computer, user, local lib or library and we can see the ogre main library exists here and then the ogre overlay library exists here so click OK click OK next let's go ahead and add the library path for OIS and boost system so let's go to the file system go to user library and look for x86 underscore 64 dash linux dash gnu and select that folder and there's a lot of contents in here but trust me ois and boost system exist here and click ok once that's all finished click apply and close Next, we're going to want to go ahead and add the Ogre configuration files for the plugins and resources. To locate that, go ahead and open up your files. Go to other locations, click on computer, click on user, local, share, Ogre, and then you'll see a plugins.cfg and a resources.cfg. And go ahead and select both of those and drag them into your project root folder and click OK. Go ahead and open up your resources configuration. There's going to be a lot of stuff we don't need here so we could go ahead and delete everything except the SDK trays. And then you'll notice that the star up here signifies that our file isn't saved yet so go ahead and press Control S to save and you'll see that star go away. And we could go ahead and close out of this resources configuration. Now let's go ahead and try to build the project. And to do that, go ahead and right click on this project folder. Go down to build project. And then you should look down here in the console to see if there's any errors. And we can maximize that window by clicking on maximize. And we can see the progress of the build in the bottom right hand corner. And it'll give you a message once it finishes. We can see that there's zero errors, three warnings, and how much time it took. Now let's go ahead and run our project. To do that, go ahead and right click on the project folder and then look for run as local C and C application. You could also do this under debug if you want to debug. And click on that. And then you'll see it brings up a render settings window. You're going to click and hold on the select one drop down and click whatever option you have available. I'm going to turn off full screen and then I'm going to reduce the window size and then accept. And then you should see now a tutorial application render window opens with the frames per second 
and the ogre logo in the bottom right hand corner.